Darlings, darlings, darlings. I want to say a fashion with no fashions, but we actually had too much fashions. The wrong kind of fashions. <laughs> mean the same sweater. Somebody sitting at home like, this bitch, since she said this, she shows up here in the same long sleeve, like the three same long sleeve, and she thinks, yes, I do. And you know you love it. You know you want to hear a you talk about this shit. Okay, let's get into it. Um, hello, hello, hi, it is me, it is I. It's real time, Didi, or Khadi, and these are internet. I'm back. Let's just get into it, you guys. You guys know, hot mess, sorry. A hot mess, the Durban July's fashions. We keep wanting this to be the fashion event it never was. Or was it at some point, you know, during the Bonang era where Khacho and Katia was dressing her for everything and then, it, you know, the the races became and then it's like, or is it that it hasn't moved at the same rate as what the other fashion girlies are doing on an international stage? Because um, the girls were amazed. Go watch the last video for an understanding of how I think the industry is here i mean i think it's one of many reasons as to why it is here but those are the ones that just i wanted to highlight let's get into it this is in no particular order but in the end i'll tell you who i think was the best dressed for me anyway but this is not in any kind of order i did not like most of the fashions in fact i think i liked the one that i think was the best dressed of me truly uh, and everybody else whom i thought well you don't look like a complete clown was probably just playing it safe anyway we'll start with uh tandy madida does she go by madida yes she does go by tandy madida um her dress apparently is something that somebody has worn before so she didn't get this like custom made she found it she liked it she felt like it was in theme um and then she wore it um which i suppose is fine i mean it's already in theme um Oh, what was the theme? Ride the wave or riding the wave. But, you know, waves are being ridden. And did I expect the girls to be literal? Yes, that's South Africans for you. They will be literal and very safe. And I think we talk a lot of smack. So it makes it hard to then go and try to be adventurous when you know how much shit you also talk about other people. So you tend to play it safe or literal. But my expectations were a lot of pearls a lot of blues um not necessarily the same shade of blue like everybody wore this um i mean is this the only blue that exists why did they all wear this blue um i was expecting a lot of crystals obviously that shimmer of the water and the shimmer of the beach sand expecting a lot of interpretations of waves like literal waves i was expecting that because i know my people and they do not disappoint with the literal interpretations but it's like what else did i outside the box what would i have ex expected of them i was expecting a lot of structure for like movement like structure that is still giving movement so i was expecting a lot of those kinds of pieces where you can tell that this is supposed to be some kind of interpretation of a wave um with a great level of craftsmanship obviously that would like not make it this like literal oh we see you're trying like organza you know no i was not expecting that but you know but i i expected this i expected illusion mash and people looking like you, you are part of the sand so a lot of shimmer and things like that and droplets that kim k look that she wore for the mat um gala i thought i'd see a lot more people going there than i did i did find one dress it appeared in my explore and i'm not familiar with this lady um she did not she's private but the design house that did her dress posted it so she's actually in my like one of my top, you know. Um, in terms of color, I thought I'd see a lot more different, like blues. I did not expect to be so, you know. Um, anyway, uh, Nandi Madida, that's what she wore. And she's not necessarily on my best dress, but, you know, 
She's a beautiful woman, so that works for her. We had the issue of Siam Buji, and um, she was dressed by, if I find it, I will have the name um, included as to who dressed her because there's drama around that and the fact that the dress was uh, a copycat of a Nigerian designer. Um, and I, there's a comparison. It don't look like a lie. It actually looks like such a copy and paste or trying to be on copy and paste because it's actually kind of sad because it does look very much like the knockoff. I don't even like it before I see the original and I can't explain the top part of the dress does look um, a little poorly made, a little try, you know, even before you see the original. But, you know, it's all right, man. It's all right. What, what are you going to say? Can you say, you know, before they call you a hater, honey? Next. But anyway, do. Oh, I, I think she did better than most people. I suppose she's also like a, a wave of sorts, like with sand, I suppose, because they went with blue. Or just like, you know, I don't know. But she, she's there's a wave there. I can see the the ruffle trying to mimic, you know, the rolling like waves and stuff. Um, even like a river more than because uh, of the color story that they went with. I think I actually think outside of all oh, they copied this or oh, they did that, they were on the right path in terms of not being so literal, especially with the blue. Um, yeah. I'd like that. And then we have Homoto. Um, Homoto, who is from Real Housewives of Durban season one. Her father is also like a well-known musician, blah, blah, blah. But in her own right, that's where we know her far from. I actually don't mind Homoto's fit. I even like the ode to um, the Y2K feel, the, the 2000s shades that she has going on, you know, the frameless uh, kind of shades. And she's having fun with it. I I actually do not mind Homoto's dress, guys. And I feel like it did not get a lot of love, but not necessarily, I don't think it got a lot of hate either. Again, we're seeing like a an interpretation of, I would say, a wave, but as well as a mermaid because of the mix of blues and purples. Those are very mermaidy colors as well. And we see the crystals hanging from her, uh, the top part of her dress. I'm guessing th those are usually like to represent like droplets. Again, a play on that Kim K uh, dress that she had. Um, I don't think, I don't think this is a bad fit. It's a bit very prom, like it, 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 it would it would rock on a 16 year old a lot better. And that's not me trying to age shame. It's just, it's fun in a way where I don't feel like it's grown woman, but like at the same time, it's like, should we stop having fun? Cause we're getting older. I don't know, but I don't think this was, this is not on my worst dressed. It's really not. It, it tried to be something. It tried to have the volume while being practical, try to give us the theatrics while being wearable a lot of the pieces as well were very much like for editorial use like you know you're going to an actual event right you're going to be at an actual event where you have to wear this garment so it needs to make sense for the purpose of it i understand the theatrics i get it i get it but it's not a you're not being graded on <laughs> if it's an issue of being graded. You're not being graded on how well it photographs and how well it moves. No, 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 no. So some of the stuff, the girls try to dupe us. You know, they do the little photo shoots and they bombard us on our socials with pictures of them and they little photo shoots and stuff. And it's like, yeah, the people who are at the fucking Durban, the people at the Harimori racing, the people at the races need to send us pictures of what that shit looks like in real life because ain't no way you guys know how to play with lights you guys know how to play with shadows you guys know what to do when it's time to edit these pictures to try and like to finagle us into thinking you're put together when you're fucking not when you're not and then um i i literally i'm gonna do the people that i found or who trained it really um Oh, guys. Me, I feel bad when I have to talk about because I feel like 
people like to rag on her. People like to pile on on her. Like since she came on and Bonang was the it girl and was like, oh, you're trying to sound like B. And then like ever since then, then she had that little husband stuff with the Valentines. So I feel bad. I feel like I'm shitting on somebody who some people already shit on. At the same time, and I think she's dressed by heart. Heart, my dude. What what in the jazz hands? What what is what in the jazz hands is going on, baby? Where is Crystal so she can help you break into song? She looks like she's about to get on and just give us a little. I don't know what do they do like on Chicago or something like the musical, but that she literally looks like she's about to. And not as a joke. She looks like she's in a circus and she's the ringmaster. And how wah. And then she agreed. Such a beautiful woman. Why would you agree to be important? Baby, Lerato needs to know that these KP like things, it ends bad for her. Do you guys remember? <laughs> Don't laugh. Do you guys remember when she wore that other one where she was looking like the Dragon Ball Z character? But this is, and then they like think they can because they've put some pearls on it. It's automatically saying "ride the wave." Or oh, what is she on a cruise ship? Is that the vibe? Is she riding a wave like that? Had I missed it? Am I slow? I've never been so happy to be slow. Kosi Kosi Twala, who is from Big Brother again. With the photo shooting us. I haven't seen what. First of all, she is body, yari, yari, yari. And she knows she is body, yari, yari. So we are expecting something contoured to the body. It's definitely giving sea creature, mermaidy look down to the makeup as well. Every time I see like crystally, like illusion mash, um, and then blues or anything like stones that look like they be made to look like they're growing on your body. I think mystique and in the best way, I love mystique like X-Men mystique. I think I said somebody else last year, the, the, the crystals they had going on were looking very much like part of them because the mash had been mashed. The mash had been mashed to the skin, honey, as it should, as it should be. So it was working. So I feel like Corsi is um, in her in her shoot. I don't know how. I didn't see any pictures of this outside of. Um, if, I, if I find them while I'm trying to stitch th this together, I guess I hold a different opinion. But in her shoots, um, it worked. She's late. But it's like the race is not at the studio. Y'all need to cut that shit out. The girls think they can do but. I understand that that's your vision as the designer and maybe it was a collaboration. I get that that's your vision. So you want you want us to see how you, we don't give a shit. We give a shit about where this is supposed to be at. And you all need to start getting that right and stop thinking that you can light camera action and edit us into believing that the fits go hard. No, 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 no. Sonia, um, was in a per she looks more like a like the head of um like a vampire coven like she looks like she runs a coven of just like women in underworld six if it ever comes out um and they just like you know like amazonians but vampires and they like it's just like she's the head vampires and what does that have to do with riding a fucking wave? You wore purple, like, because you're in purple, I'm supposed to say it's giving Ursula. It's not giving motherfucking Ursula. Wear your tentacles. Like, I'm not saying be, I read, say maybe, maybe like a, a, a widowed siren, but no, bitch. It's giving vampire, especially because it's like, when you think suede, like, basically you're wearing like a long, and what did you do? You, and you, 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 you got a long, like, cape made of organs and then i'm supposed to say it's giving waves it's giving none of that bitch is giving like your vampire husband victor who's a, a thousand and one years um 
finally died and now this is all up to you and you gotta make it work and they're coming for your coven because there's no man to protect y'all there right now but like you are also a thousand years i don't know girl whatever if it was like vampires she was winning but it's not it is not tell her we knew she was gonna body con us to death boring beautiful boring um i was expecting a lot of this exactly that kim k look that i'm telling you about a lot of mesh a lot of crystals i feel like we're stuck we are stuck here as south africans a south african designer first of all we're stuck in the wrong place because the girls aren't getting the matching the mesh right all the time stellos is matching here in the shoot we don't know what it looked like outside of that it looks so beautiful here by her chest and stuff when you look at it i'm guessing again um a sea creature mermaidy thing coming out of the water and you just when you're dripping again that kim k kind of inspired look but we expected stella to give us this right at least i did so i'm not very much like Ooh, you know go you um not really Tando Tabete is another one where we got a lot of like um, her in the stew. Just her in the studio looking polished. But that face, bitch. The face ate, like edited or not. Like, ah, this makeup is eating. It's eating so much. Oh, and it's so nice. The dress has some good movement on it, but I don't, I don't really know where I stand with Tando's dress it's wearable it's we see the pleats of the movements of the waves um you know okay mawu uh i don't really follow her like that and this is boring and i don't understand anything about it i'm guessing the pearls okay as well as the blue but then what guys <sighs> we gotta go um Bute Samuels, is that her son? I don't know. This one, the other one who's also relying on body for a career. Um, uh, is she an oyster? What a, it's be beautiful gowns, like it's, it's gorgeous and practical, and the body doesn't hurt, you know, the body makes it work. It's, it's lazy. DJ Lemise, um, yeah, I mean, sure. I, again, shimmer, mermaidy, gorgeous, curves. Um, I do like the sparkle. I really do like the sparkle, but like, ah, bored. Like, not really like, you know, taking me, oh, go see, um, it's Tando, what's her name? Eva Mudike. Did Eva have two fits? Because she had that one outfit where she looks. What was that? That had been, since it's just us here at this odd hour. What was that? And then she gets into it with Danelle. <laughs> her and Danelle arguing. Now, Danelle's dress was, she can wear that for her 40th. Um, birthday she could wear it for anything and it would still work um it was lazy but maybe she's like if i'm gonna spend this much i better spend it on a wearable dress you know um she probably won't wear it again but she can definitely rent it out she can rent that dress out and quite a few people would would i feel should be able it's a wearable thing that she had on but Ava looked a mess in both fits. I don't care if she had two fits. I don't know what the fuck this brown shit is supposed to be. These little brown feathers on this dress. Okay, can you this? I have no idea what any of it is. I do know that it's ugly though. That's not good. And then the two piece thing that she wore. Um, no, the, 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 no, no. It's given more like disco, but the ruffle makes it look, I don't understand any of it. And then she keeps saying people weren't in theme. Maybe I wish you weren't in theme. Maybe you would, or you weren't trying to interpret the theme like, 
what is she saying she is like a trout or I, I this is above my pay grade it's one of those things i've i've never been happier to not understand certain things like I, i'm so happy to not be in the loop slee luckily slee's doing things to break my heart i think slee is the tragic case of a beautiful woman who keeps getting it wrong and luckily she's beautiful but this this is one of the more arts and craftsy projects where it's like <laughs> the person does not have the skill of working with fabrics and trying to relay a message using like actual fabric that you use to make clothes with so they just thought okay i'm gonna cut out blue ha it, it's one of those things where you think the beauty and the body yaddy is gonna save it and then she even in the edited pictures where she's it's like it's saying no it's saying i am an art and craft project it's saying somebody put down a cardboard piece of paper and traced out what they think a wave is and then like probably hot glued when I tell you the country is probably like experiencing a shortage of hot glue and hot glued like a blue fabric. And we just hoped for the best and ran with it. It's not working. Slu is one of my worst dressed, like if not my worst dressed. Well, her and Liz Hawa are fighting for that spot. They neck and neck, honey. They, they want to be down there so bad. I wasn't expecting Makazi to do anything other than what she just did here, which is, I mean, just win Grammys, girl. It's okay. Connect. Sometimes we're asking too much from the wrong people. Like, she's winning in her lane. My favorite girls, the 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 housewives. We have Liz. Liz, <clears throat> love you, girl. Liz looks like a. A prom queen of sorts. Um, even younger, this dress is very much fitting for a 14 year old. I don't know. Um, there is no fucking way Jojo is expecting me to believe she got this fit made for the like the Durban July. I think she always had this dress, she wore it, and she's another one who thought, let me get a cape made and then we'll just say it's a wave and whatever. Maria, oh Maria, oh Maria, Maria, oh Maria. I don't even know what to say. Maria is wearing some sequins thing and then they got some, some plastic and they even put one in her hair. Why do they do that? Bev is a beautiful woman and that's about it. But it's giving pageant and I didn't understand what about this says we're going to the races, but okay. The girls don't care about that. And then there's this lady, you guys. She's dressed by designs by Rati. And she popped up in my explore. And I'm like, it cannot be a coincidence. This is somebody who was at the races. And I open it. And at some point, somebody said something. Or she looks beautiful. And she said, thanks. She comments because they tagged. I think they said her name is Mbumi. Then tag her. They mentioned her in the caption. Her name so i try to find the name in the uh comments and she said thanks to somebody saying she looked gorgeous but when i open her profile it's private so i don't think this person really wants us to talk about them like that so i'll talk about the designer instead designs by that this is gorgeous this is easily one of my top easily one of my top and then we have um i did homozo or oh was tandra Oh, we already spoke about Ulantoza, oh baby girl, what's her name? La Joy. We spoke about La Joy briefly yesterday, those of us who were congregated here. And it's like, yo, it's a sad case of something. I think she's dressed by the same person who dressed Cyan. I, I think it's the same designer and I don't know what happened. The thing is, I look at it and I'm like, what could have been done differently? You know, what could have been the thing that made it not ugly? And I can't, I, I, first of all, what was it supposed to be? Because this looks more out of this world which is last years into it with the chrome theme that everybody ran with with the silver and stuff 
And I see that from the bottom with those heavy crystals are supposed to. But guys, my question is that, okay, maybe you and your designer work on something. But when you put it on, you can see it's not enduring. Why are you running with it? Or did you just want to train so we can sit here and talk like shit about like you in your dress? Come on now. Come on, mama. Don't do us like people pushing tough spots. But this is definitely not good. This is not good, you guys. The designer, like, no, and like the collaborative effort, no. And the only one in the end that it's not working, just go get a blue dress. Go down to wherever where you know they, they rent or sell dresses. R look boring. Look like you didn't try hard enough, but not this. And she's a tiny woman, so I guess finding anything, will you'll still need to get it adjusted, right? Oh, I care. Litavo is definitely... Her and Slea are my worst dressed, guys. Litavo and Slea are my worst dressed. Um, my top two. Doro looks... I think people are selling me on Doro. I can't tell if I like... If I'm in love with Doro's look. No. Doro is not in my top two, actually. Doro might be my top three. And she might be my third. I was forgetting about this guy. I was forgetting about Pupo. I like Pupo's... Um, do you know what in my mind in my mind i'm thinking sea creature uh who wants to go to fashion school but they're like no you cannot go and then they like shipwrecks and stuff and the sailors and they sails and the ropes and things and then looks at the ropes and puts together the sickening fit the sickening fit and then all those robes to me feel very much like um reclaimed like sailor rope from like this like innovative designer from atlantis but i don't know but i like it i love pupo's look i did you guys i really really did and it kind of because considering the men all look like you know being a man is nice sometimes you're allowed to be boring you are allowed to be so, so boring and act like you're doing something that you, you know you're not doing. You know it. Um, and then we have, um, I think he's my top two. Doro might be then my third. Uh, Doro Mungi might be my third. I think she's okay. I think it's good. I think, I think she managed to do that transparent. Oh, how can I forget about just come quickly? I think she managed how she managed to do that transparent thing without it looking tacky like Jessica Nkosi. I feel like people were trying hard to make us feel like Jessica Nkosi's look is working. It's not working. The little strokes of paint, even in the editorial thing, I keep, it's not landing. The vision did not vision. It did not come together like that. The girls don't know how to work with the fabrics that still, the things looked tacky. Like a lot of the girls looked cheap, looked arts and crafty, looked like they know like about this hot glue. It, it, it was bad, guys. It was not good. That's how I felt about just come go see me. But, uh, it, you know, you see Maria from Real Housewives, she tried to have a similar look with the, the plasticky thing i'm guessing that's a wave coming through it's just it's it, it feels like an afterthought it feels like you bought a sequin dress and then you were like let me and then we're gonna which is fine modifying dresses is perfectly fine but it cannot look like a last ditch effort to try and attach the theme or get like get no it cannot it must look like it was always supposed to be there i found doro Dora managed to get that movementy thing right, except this thing here. I don't know how I actually feel about it, but the overall look, I don't know if it's just like the styling or her being by the water, but she's under poopo for me. Um, we must also discuss Nongko. 
Nonku was also a no for me. And I think she had a marquee. Her wine had a marquee at the Durban July. She probably still had a good time. I knew she was going to try to wear something that's trying to give us body. as she paid for it. Like, I'd also want you guys to see it. But I also knew it wouldn't land because it's Nonku. And she's not known for landing fashions. Like, I don't even think she's ever promised us that. So it's fine that she looked a hot mess. Um, wrapped up in that, like, hot air balloon tinfoil looking thing. Baby, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I almost forgot about Pupa, guys. Almost clean forgot about her. Who was then my best dressed? Pamela Mtanga. Is it Mtanga or Mtongo? Hi, let's get ready for the hot Mtanga. Event, July. Pamela Mtanga. Pamela Tanga was my best dress. I don't know who this hand was until a week or so ago when she trained it over the saga with the hair. Maybe I need to do a video where we discuss what is going on with the influencer businesses. What's going on when the influencers start their businesses and then things just go awry real, real quickly. And people aren't like dissatisfied and all of that stuff. Is that a video? Do we want to hear about that? Because I've got I, I've got thoughts. I also have thoughts as to why so many of them go into business as quickly as they did. And in it's very much linked to the Onezwa thing. Because I've been playing it in my head. And whenever I need to sit down and talk about that video, something happens. And then I have to quickly talk about something else. But anyway, um, Pamela is my best dressed. Hands down. I, I'm hoping nobody comes and tells me the dress was also copied or what have you, but like she is, she's crowned this year's Durban July goddess. Okay. The queen of the races is Pamlam Dongo for the year. Yeah. And we'll see them next year. I can't even remember who was crowned last year because I think they did a lot better last year than they did this year. This year, Iba Betile and like, Life could have been more broad. They could have given themselves so much room to play. But, you know, also like budget stifles creativity. And I told you guys the girls are broke. But budget also makes it hard for you to think big. And the thing, you need to be a certain kind of hungry and a certain kind of creative. Because the thing about hunger as well is that it can make you think so big right because you have nothing to lose you have nothing right or when you have a little bit and you know that i don't have this money and the material is already this much and blah 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 because i mean are they winning do the designers get enough work after doing these collaborations you know um what that was the remote <laughs> racist thing guys Thank you all. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let your people know about me. I see you guys showing me so much love and you're keeping me going for July. I'm like, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. But yeah, she's so grateful. Thank you guys. Bye, Three. Three. We are not in the races!